Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have here for Taurus? King of Pentacles is the first card out. This King of Pentacles, I'm getting he's appreciating you or he has a lot of uh, love for you or something. Yeah, can I make this up? This King of Pentacles, he has a lot of love for you here. That's what I'm getting. Um, He sees you as wish fulfillment here as well. Yeah, what's going on here? Um, I don't know, but he feels like he's kind of like, I don't know, like he can't make any moves towards you or something. Oh, because you're guarded. You're guarded. So you got somebody here that he secretly sees you as wish fulfillment. Um, He also wants you to forgive him for the way that he treated you. Uh, while I'm getting when you initially came into a work environment. So he's hoping that you forgive him for that. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, what's going on here? Does not have to be a work environment. This could even be like, say for instance, you were just out and you met this man. Um, I don't know. Maybe this man wasn't having a very good day. Or something like that. And so like. He didn't. Oh. He wasn't having a, a very good day. Or something like that. So he kind of reacted. To you. But he wasn't really upset with you. That's what like he reacted. But he wasn't upset. He was just not having a good day. So this could be something that happened in regards to like, say you went and visited some type of like establishment or something like a, a business. Oh yeah. I'm telling you this man was not having a good day. Hold on. Yeah. We had the King of Cups fall on the floor. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. I don't know. It's just like, he knows it's like this man. He knows better. He knows better. He's like, okay, I understand that, you know, I wasn't having a good day and I should not have handled you like that. Or I should not have treated you like that. Uh, whatever this is, I don't know. It's like he was having a bad day. So he, I don't know. He's, he could be the one that's guarded here as well. He could be the one that's guarded. I'm getting like, now you're guarded towards him, but he could be the one that's guarded here as well. Or I could be speaking to a king of pentacles and you're dealing with a king of cups here. Yeah, like somebody sees you as very strong here as well. It's just like, I don't know, it's something in regards to this man's like temper. Like he knows that in the past he had issues in regards to his temper. This is somebody that has done the healing work and that's coming up out of that energy. But every now and then, like he has to, like if he's feeling overwhelmed or, you know, not having a very good day, he will distance himself. That's what I'm getting. This man is also very strong or something. He's very strong, very buff, very, um, yeah, he's very strong or very buff. I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, what's going on here? I'm not getting this as a relationship. This is not a relationship. This is somebody that's, um, it's like he sees you as wish fulfillment. Or this could even be like a friend of yours. But like he was not having a very good day and he wanted to be by himself. That does not mean that like he was mad at you or whatever this is. But he wishes that he would have handled you better. It's like in the past, this man, when he would get upset, he would like, I'm really getting this man is trying to be mindful in regards to the way that he handles you. So for some, I'm speaking to a feminine energy and I'm really not getting that this is anything in regards to, you know, dv or anything like that this is not anything in regards to that this is somebody that like when he he's learning to be more in tune with his emotions and understand where certain emotions are arising from so it's like he will be quiet before he actually reacts and says anything that's what i'm getting he'll be quiet he gives his time himself time to actually you know, process his emotions or something. But in the past, he would kind of get triggered or something. He would get triggered. He'd get upset. And then he'd like, oh, wow, okay. He'd be guarded towards you.
He be guarded towards you. Or he just, I don't know. What's going on here? I'm really getting, uh, we have the three of swords fall on the floor. I'm really getting, this man is upset because you're guarded towards him. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I have issues with things like I need things to be aligned a certain way. And if it's not, it will like agitate me. And this dress is not aligning the way that I feel like it should be aligning. That's a whole nother. But um, yeah, so I have to fix that. But uh, he he's heartbroken because now you're guarded towards him. Yeah, it could be this king of wands. He's heartbroken because you're guarded towards him. Um... Yeah, it's like, he's like, dang. Okay, so I'm getting what happened is this man, I don't know, you trigger him. Trigger show you where you need to heal. So it's like you trigger him, but you're really showing it's something that he needs to heal within himself. And every time you trigger him, he gets, you know, I don't know, guarded towards you. He gets guarded towards you or something. And he was, I don't know, this is weird. What's going on here? It's like he was guarded towards you or he's trying to, he knows that you're not going to tolerate his BS here either. You're not going to tolerate it. So you don't care if this man get mad and get triggered. He better go somewhere else with that, getting mad and getting triggered. Go to somebody that's going to coddle your ego. I mean, it is what it is, but he appreciates you for being real with him or not allowing him to continue to repeat karmic cycles or karmic behavior or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's like I'm telling what did I just say? This man is getting more in tune with his emotions. He could be meditating here as well, clearing his energy like but wow, but people keep trying this man keep testing this man they want this man to fight this man could be a fighter he could be like a professional fighter but like you like i don't know it's like when you're around this man this man <laughs> he tones it down a little bit that's what i'm getting here wow you know what i'm getting i'm really getting like somebody asking this man like who is your who is your scariest opponent because this man could be, a, like I said, a professional fighter. Asking this man, well, who is your scariest opponent? And this man saying, like, my wife. I don't know. So, wow, remarried. So, this could be somebody like, okay, so he could have been in some type of karmic marriage or a karmic situation in the past. And it was very toxic. And when he ended that cycle, he went and did the healing work and went within. And then that's when you connected with this man. This man has a lot of respect for you because you know your worth and you know your value. Maybe this is somebody that, like I said, you met after he came out of a very toxic, unhealthy relationship. It could have been toxic on both ends, you know, take it how it resonates. But he had to go do the healing work and that's what he did. And now... It's like he's showing up in a whole different energy for you. But he goes through the king of pentacles, the king of wands, the king of cups. Next is going to be the king of swords. But when he is in that king of swords energy, he quickly remembers who he's dealing with and he tones it down. So I could be speaking to a feminine energy here. It's like, and you're not going to tolerate his BS. Like you're not going to enable him either. Like you don't do that. If he want to find somebody that's going to enable him and coddle his ego, then he needs to go find somebody that's going to do that. But you ain't the one. Wow, that's why this man wants to marry you or that's why this man married you. Yep. He sees you as very strong here as well. Like everything that you've been through here, man, I'm telling you, this man feels like you're an inspiration to him. Like he looks at the things that you didn't overcame in life and he's like, I know if, you know, you overcame because he knows that you're somebody that's very strong, but you're also very stoic. But he's like, if you overcame it, it like gives him motivation to continue to push forward here. This is somebody you're going to marry towards. You could be single. You could be single or like you're not dating at the moment. But you will start dating eventually. And this is the person like this is your person here. This is your person. Give me just a second. 
I'm also getting this man knows that he was in some childish energy here in the past. The page of cups fell on the floor. I'm getting this man feels like he was very immature. He was very reckless with how he was handling, you know, feminine energies. Like he was kind of, could have been a player here as well. He was not in tune with his emotions or the emotions of the feminine energies that he was dealing with. Like when he got triggered, Oh, wow. Okay, so what I'm getting is when this man would get triggered or upset by you or upset for you just calling out the truth, this man would try to say the most hurtful thing that he could say to you to like try to break your heart or like try to knock you down and put you in your place or something like that. That's what this man would do. That's what I'm getting. But he's coming up out of that energy. That's what I'm getting here. Um, Yeah, I'm not getting that he was like, I don't know. Maybe this man could have been. He was in some low vibrational energy in the past. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. He didn't have to. I'm getting this man decided to. He's getting counseling and all of that. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. I don't know. This is somebody that I'm really getting in the past. This man felt like he was not a good person. He felt like he was not a good person. He felt like. Wow, he was a product of his environment or he felt like he was just like his father. Okay, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. And you may not even know this man's um, father. I don't know. Um, this is something that he dealt with here in the past or he saw masculine energies like handle feminine energies a certain way and he felt like that was cool that was the way that you were supposed to handle feminine energies you know out here being a player out here being careless out here breaking people's heart and not taking accountability that's what he felt like was okay but like when he met you he came up out of that energy because around you this man has to take accountability and if he does not he's not going to be around you as simple as that it's simple as that so he respects you he has a lot of respect for you Maybe this man tried you. This man could have tried you. Like tried to do something or say something to you that was going, he thought was going to crush you and break your heart or something. You was like, uh, no, you must not know who you dealing with. And you kept moving forward. This man admires you for that. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, some type of tower. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know why I'm getting this man is in meditation. Like he goes into meditation and he just reflects on. It's like he has to come to a place of forgiveness within himself. Because he does feel guilty for how he handled you or something like that here. And it's like whenever this man actually has a moment to himself and he's reflecting just on life. On how he handled. I don't know. This could be in regards to how he handled you or how he handled feminine energies in the past something happened here you could have just gotten to a disagreement with this man or something like i'm not really getting this as any type of like altercation this could be some type of disagreement you got into with this man and he thought he was just gonna like talk to you like he you know he probably got triggered oh that's what it is he got triggered so you had some type of disagreement with this man you spoke some type of truth it triggered him and the the way he handled the situation is what is disappointing him that's what i'm getting that's why he's disappointed because of how he handled the situation he feels like he should have you know kind of listened, actually listen or listen and not jump to conclusions or listen and not jump to like, I don't know, it's some type of, wow, it's some type of disagreement, but he feels like it's on his end. And the reason he feels like it's on his end is because he got triggered by something that you said, but you were not like, okay, you were not, you were not talking about him or you were not referring to him or you were not, I don't know, this is weird, like, he's very guarded. He's very guarded. Um, He's protecting his heart. That's what this is. This man is protecting his heart. As strong as everybody may think this man is. Because that's the image that he puts off. To, uh, you know, just people around him. 
to not mess with him. To not mess with him. Yeah, but really, this man is like, he's a big, like, he's a big teddy bear. He's a very good person, but he's not the person that you want to mess with. I'm getting, he could be a professional fighter, but people would just try to fight him because he is a professional fighter. So people would just try to fight him and that's not what you want to do. You don't mess with somebody that ain't messing with you. This man, he feels like you are the female version of him or something. I don't know. He feels like you are the female version of him. And yeah. Like you don't mess with people that ain't bothering you. I mean, this man's like, he's going to marry you. This man's going to marry you. Like, he's already decided. <laughs> he's already decided that he wants to marry you. And he's like, whatever I got to do to get next to this empress. Because he just, he's decided that he wants to marry you. Okay. He also no longer wants to try to be uh, sneaky in regards to his uh, attraction towards you or something. I don't know. Like, it's like he was talking himself out of reaching out to you. Yeah, what's going on here? I don't know. This man, for some, this man is a business owner. And like, he he has a crush on you. But the day you went and visited this business or whatever this is that he owns, he was not having a very good day. And like... He didn't mean to, wow, he didn't mean to, he could have been, I don't know what this man was dealing with. Could have been some type of like, he has a very chaotic work environment or um, what he does for work. It takes a lot out of him. It takes a lot out of him, whatever he does for work. And he knows that that's no exception. It doesn't matter. Like, he should be able to um, handle his emotions. It is no excuse. It doesn't matter. He do, It doesn't matter what this man does for a living. At the end of the day, when he was dealing with you and interacting with you, he should have handled you differently. It's no excuse. This man ain't making no excuses. Yeah, he got a hectic job. But at the end of the day, he needs to be able to understand that that comes along with whatever this is. Yeah, lovers here. Um... Something's also, I don't know. It's like, you know what? This man could, I don't know why I'm getting this man feels like he's, he's juggling you or it's like, he doesn't want things. Okay. So I see what this is. He don't, he doesn't want to rush things. He wants to have a happy, healthy, normal relationship. I'm really getting this man could have been guarded towards you because he got betrayed by a karmic that he was in a relationship with in the past. And the way that he handled, the way that he would even like, these two could have argued all the time or whatever, whoever he was married to. I don't know. It was a lot going on, whatever this is. But he's realizing that you're totally different. And he's going to realize that when he tries you and you get the hell away from his ass. So maybe that's what he's realizing here. And he's like, oh, yeah, okay, no, I can't. Wow, maybe he was testing you. And I got this energy in a previous reading. Like, men will try to test you to see what they can get away with doing. Like, what kind of, like, what are you going to tolerate? Are you going to tolerate him to just be in and out juggling you, doing whatever, you know, being kind of this i don't know why i'm getting disrespectful or you know being um dismissive or not really invested in you or you know doing a bare minimum or something like that like he tried you and tried to test you and you got help you got away from his ass you got far the hell away from his ass that's what i'm getting here you're like no you ain't gonna do me like that i don't know who you dealt with here in the past but you ain't coming around me doing me like that 
So I don't know. That's why this man admires you even more. But you could be guarded towards him because maybe it's like a red flag. Like you're not dealing with anybody that's not in control of their emotions or that does not understand, you know, emotional maturity or emotional IQ or whatever this is like. But, you know, I'm getting this man is really trying to do the healing work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything else. Because now I'm getting like you, I'm getting you could be guarding. And you're like, no, nah, uh-uh, like, no. Nah. Yeah, because that's a red flag. That's a huge red flag. Somebody that just, um, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe this is somebody that feels like you are wish fulfillment to them, but this person is no longer wish fulfillment. Yep, to you. This person is no longer wish fulfillment to you because of how this individual did you. Um, you know this person was also involved in trying to silence you or stop you from using your intuition. So that could also be, so this could be similar, similar energy in regards to that reading that I got for you previously here uh Taurus so this could be like one of the masculine energies from that previous reading like somebody is like trying to block somebody from like using their intuition or something like that or doesn't want somebody to use their into oh because it triggers it triggers this masculine so you could be somebody that's very intuitive here Taurus and you use your intuition but you got a masculine energy that's triggered by everything that you say so he tried to like destroy you and like uh shadow ban you or silence you or something like that here now he's regretting doing that I don't know and he's trying to do the healing work and understand why he did what he did I don't know go with the flow here I'm about to end this because this thing went way over yeah we have think things through didn't i just say that this man is now like stopping to think about like when he gets triggered he's like okay he's like processing it uh this man really he regrets how he handled you or something but you're over it and you're like i don't want nothing to do with you it's good that you're uh realizing you know whatever this is are doing this healing work but it's like whoever you are towards how this man treated you or how this man handled you the first time was all you needed to know. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. We have be open to love here. And we have embrace your power. I'm getting like you're moving forward. You're no longer holding back. Or like wow. It's something in regards to your intuitive gifts. You could have been holding back. Because like every time you would speak the truth. Somebody would get triggered. You're not meant to do that. You're not meant to hold back. Because somebody's getting triggered by something that you're saying. Like somebody could be like trying to control your intuitive gifts and control what you say or control what you do. And like somebody could even be like threatening you or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. You're like, no, nah, you need to go find you somebody that's going to play them type of games because Taurus is not. But I'm going to end it there, Taurus. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.